Hey everyone, this is a tutorial on how to create a volcanic eruption effect in Unity. I'm going to show you this process step by step. The first thing that I've done is creating a new project. I've named the project as Volcano. The version of Unity that I'm using is 2019 f one The first step is to sculpt the volcano as well as the terrain around it. For that, we have to create a terrain and for that go on game object select 3d object and then go to terrain as you can see we got a terrain here and a lot of options in the inspector window for the sculpting process i would go to this option of painting terrain i would select raise or lower terrain we have a lot of options as you can see between choosing the brushes the brush size and a lot of more options. So for sculpting the bottom of terrain, what I'll do is I'll select this brush. I'll keep the brush size not too big and not too small, just almost in the middle. I'll start by tapping on the bottom. I'll cover the whole bottom by tapping on the surface. If you tap on the surface for a little longer, the terrain will raise. This is the way by which you can create mountains around the volcano. I'll just start by making mountains on the edges. Not on the middle, I'll just undo this whole thing. I'll use this brush for making mountains. As you can see, the maximum portion of our terrain is covered by mountains now. We can now change the shape of some mountains a bit so that it gives a natural feel. We'll see everything from the top if it looks good or not. Okay, we are missing out on these corners. We'll again select the brush. We'll increase the size a bit and Start sculpting on the corners. As you can see, we got a nice amount of mountains. For the floor, I would just go to the paint terrain option and then select this option and then do some impressions on the floor. You can also create impressions on mountains. This is how my terrain looks after sculpting. Now the next part is creating the volcano. I've left some space for the volcano here. Now for sculpting the volcano, we'll again go to the option of painting terrain. Select the same option of raise or lower terrain. Select any brush. Then start sculpting a volcano, a mountain kind of shape. Okay, I think this is perfect. It's almost complete. The only thing that is left is creating a depression on the top. For that, we would go to this section, choose set height from here, select a brush, choose brush size, don't make it too large, and then tap on top. As you can see, we created a depression on the top of this volcano. Let's take a look at how this picture looks from top.
This is the top wave of the terrain that we have sculpted till now. As we're done sculpting, the second part is to paint the terrain. For that, the first thing that we have to do is go to the window section, package manager. Here, uh, make sure these uh, preview packages option is checkboxed. After that, Search for Terrain Tools. Install this. Now for adding textures and painting the terrain, we'll select the terrain option. Go here to the Paint Terrain option and then select Paint Texture. At the bottom of this window, we can see a layer palette we have to click on add layer and then double click on any of this and as we can see our texture is added to this terrain. Similarly, we have to add other layers. I have added almost six layers here and now I can start painting my terrain. I mostly use rock as my bottom layer but then it's up to you to choose any layer to be your bottom layer and like paint according to your choice. This is how our terrain looks after the painting and texture adding is finished. The next step is adding stones inside the volcano. For that, I've already imported some stones from the asset store. I'll select one stone, bring it to the scene view. I'll make it a bit large. Now I'll drag and drop this stone on the top of the volcano. As you can see, the stone is now inside the depression we have created on the volcano. Similarly, we'll create copies of this stone because we need a lot of stones inside the volcano. Now the next thing that we have to do is create an empty game object. Uh, let me name it all stones. I'll drag and drop every stone to this single game object. The next step is adding a material to the stones. For this, I'll use this lava brick material that's already available and downloaded by me. I'll drag and drop this material in every stone so that they get a good texture. The material has been added to every stone present inside the volcano. 
now what we'll do is select every stone from this window and go to this section add component search for box collider add the box collider and then add the rigid body We have to make sure that this use gravity is checkboxed. After that, when we click on the play button, we'll see the stones exploding. Now the next part is creating neighboring terrains. For that, I would click on terrain, go on this option, and tap every square I want to create a terrain in. We've created terrain in other neighboring areas too. Now we just have to add mountains to these areas. Now we have to paint this neighboring terrain. So this is how the terrain looks now after adding the neighboring terrains and painting textures to them. Now the next part is adding lava to the volcano. For that you would go to game object, create an empty game object, then Go to effects, select particle system. Here we can see a lot of options in the inspector window that come with particle system. We'll, first of all, we'll go to this renderer option. Here you can see a material option is given. We'll drag and drop a material that I've already downloaded. After that, we'll go to this emission option. We'll increase the emission by almost like 150. After that, we'll go to shape section and make the shape as hemisphere. We'll do some, we'll do some changes here. We'll copy the particle system. We'll make four copies. For the first two particle systems, I've kept the shape as cone. Here's a drop down menu, you can choose any shape you want. For the last two, I've kept the shape as hemisphere. Uh, the last two particle systems are for the lava that is inside the volcano, and the first two systems are for the smoke. For it to look like smoke, I've added a gray texture to both of them. That can be done by simply going to this renderer option and dragging any material of our choice to this color. The volcano eruption effect is almost completed. All we have to do is go to the game view and see the results. As you can see, the lava is exploding from inside the volcano. The stones are moving out and there's a lot of smoke. That is what we intended to create. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much.